How's it going, everybody? Ghost Pain here. Welcome back to College Football 25. Now, before we get on to the game, guys, I do want to state one thing. I am using the new microphone here. It's the Elgato Wave 3, and it is a very good microphone. Much better quality than what I've been using. It is also a very sensitive mic, so you may hear some background noises. You may hear birds chirping in the other room. But hopefully they're not too loud, guys. I am in the process of getting a pop filter for this mic. Hopefully it'll get here soon. But yeah, I've been wanting to test this mic out for a while, and I've got just the game to do it. Because we have a thriller here, guys. I'm rolling with the Miami Hurricanes. My opponent's got the Oregon Ducks. It's the O versus the U. And yeah, guys, this one's a thriller. You're definitely going to want to get some popcorn ready for this one. As we start at the 25, we start with a Damian Martinez handoff. That's a gain of eight. Next play to give it to Martinez again. He's got room on the left past midfield and out of bounds at the 43. That dude can play football, Damian Martinez. Best player on the Canes as Cameron Ward, his first pass. It's caught by Elijah Arroyo and he is down at the 22. That'll set up a first down deep in Ducks territory as Martinez gets the carry, loses the ball, but thankfully the Canes jump on it. However, Booth Review determined Martinez was down before the ball came out, which saves us from losing a few yards as Cam Ward, next play being chased, gets away, but loses the ball at the 10 and the Ducks recover it at the 8. So the Ducks get the turnover to start the game as this is Dylan Gabriel over the middle. His first pass is caught for a first down at the 26. Next play, this is Jordan James, his first carry of the game, and he finds room on the right. Whoop! Jukes a man out, breaks another tackle down the right sideline, and he can just walk into the end zone very fast. Is Jordan James, a very good player for the Oregon Ducks, and he shows it there, takes it the distance in his first carry, and the Oregon Ducks take it the distance in two plays as they now lead by seven as the extra point is up and good. And what a start for the Oregon Ducks. They get the turnover and they get the touchdown. Two plays into the drive. And now they're kicking the ball off with a seven-point lead. And a minute 15 left in the first quarter. So we are going to need to rebound and gain some momentum. But not a good start there as Martinez doesn't gain anything on that play. Second and 10. Ward finds Martinez on the right. That is a gain of 15 and a first down. Next play. Ward is hit as he threw. And that ball falls incomplete. So second and 10, Ward looking to the left. This is intercepted though, but and it's Kobe Savage, the star safety for the Ducks. Just got to beat Cam Ward to the end zone and he cannot do it. Tackled at the two. Costly mistake for Ward though. Does save the touchdown, but does he delay the inevitable as James can, loses a couple on that play. Next play outside pitch to James, but he cannot get anything on that play. That'll set up third and goal. Another pitch to James, cuts it inside, but he's short of the goal line. And the Ducks decide to go for it on fourth and goal. Gabriel over the middle. This is dropped by Jordan James in the end zone. And the Ducks do not capitalize on the pick. Would have been nice to kick the field goal there. That could be a costly decision because they were within extra point range. Instead, Damian Martinez breaking a couple tackles. Room on the left, past midfield, just going to outrun Kobe Savage into the end zone, and he's in for the touchdown. Damian Martinez doing it all himself that drive. 98 yards and two plays, and Martinez already has about 130 yards in this game and a touchdown. And he has tied the game up at seven. He did it all on that drive. Two plays, 98 yards. And with 2.06 left in the first half, we are back to being tied up as the Ducks will start at the 20. So Dylan Gabriel, can he rebound? Hit as he threw there and the ball falls incomplete. Two minutes left in the first half. Gabriel looking left. This is caught by Jordan James and James out of bounds at the 45. So first and 10 at the 45, Gabriel looking right. This is caught by Treshawn Holden, I believe, and he has a first down at the 33. A minute 40 left in the first half. Gabriel looking left wide open is Evan Stewart, his first catch of the game, and that is good for a touchdown. A big catch there. Evan Stewart, best receiver on the Ducks, in my opinion. And a great first catch. Gives his Ducks a seven-point lead again with a minute 35 left to go in the first half. 
So we are going to need to answer back. The Ducks get the ball at halftime, so we're going to need to put some points on as Ward finds Joseph over the middle, and Joseph able to get away from the corner, and he's out of bounds at the 46. So a good start as Ward with time. Going to scramble left, going to take off. Running room. Gains about six on that play. So second and four. Ward over the middle. This is caught by Jacoby George, who gets a block, and George... Just got to beat the safety the corner. He will. Jacoby George, one of the best receivers, along with Xavier Restrepo on the Hurricanes. His first catch of the game, and that is good for a touchdown. So the Canes tie it up, pending the extra point. It is up and good. A minute 14 left in the first half, and we are tied up again. What a game so far, though, guys. As we've seen turnovers, we've seen some great offensive plays, and we are not even in the second half yet. But right here, bad idea to take that one out. He starts at the 15. Would have been better to kneel the ball as Gabriel looking over the middle. This is picked off by Taylor, and Taylor gets down at the 29. And the Canes in great position to take the lead here as we give the ball to Martinez. He has room on the right inside the 15 to the 14. That'll set up a first and 10. Stretch play to Martinez. Tries to cut it inside, but he's going to lose a yard in that play. So 35 seconds left in the half. This is Ward to Jacoby George on the right. Out of bounds the marker, but he's marked a yard short. Next play, Martinez cannot get the first down. In fact, loses a couple. And with two seconds left on fourth down, we just send the field goal unit out, and it is good. And the Hurricanes take a three-point lead going into halftime. Of all the directions this game could have gone and what looked like the game was going in. The Hurricanes are lucky to have a three-point lead, their first lead of the game. But the Ducks do have a chance to retake it here as they start the second half with the ball. As Gabriel with time under pressure though and great coverage as the ball falls incomplete. Second and ten. We send the heat but Gabriel gets rid of it to Treshawn Holden. And he gains about eight. Sets up third and short at the 24 as Gabriel dropping back, looking over the middle. This one is dropped by Evan Stewart. Had it in his hands, but couldn't haul it in. Fourth and two, the Ducks go for it, and Jordan James able to make a man miss and is able to get the first down. Could have been a very bad play there, but instead it turns into a first down. Next play, a deep strike by Dylan Gabriel to Evan Stewart, and that sets up a first down at the 10. As Jordan James gets the handoff out of bounds at the five, gain a six. Next play, this is Whittington, the backup running back. Whoop! Makes a man miss, and he is in for the touchdown, and the Ducks regain the lead. And Whittington going to salute the visiting crowd, taunt them. Extra point up and good. And the Oregon Ducks start the second half with a touchdown and a four-point lead now as we are going to need to put a drive together as we are getting late into the game as Ward dumps it off to Damian Martinez and he fights his way to the 45. First and 10, a minute half left in the third. We hit Restrepo for the first time on the screen pass and he's out of bounds at the 40. Good play there. First catch for Xavier Restrepo, but next play Martinez loses a couple. Second and 12, Ward going to take off or try to, but only gains a few. Sets up third and nine, critical play here. Ward finds a wide open man on the right, and he's inside the 20 to the 17. So good first down, but a great play as Martinez is stuffed for a loss a couple there. Second and 12, Ward is hit as he threw, and the ball falls incomplete. Third down and long, Ward... Finds a man, Elijah Arroyo, first down at the five, start of the fourth quarter. Martinez pushes for about the two, second and goal. Martinez to about the one, need to score a touchdown. We are in four down territory at this point as Ward looking for Restrepo, but he wasn't ready for the pass there. Fourth and goal, got to go for it, and Ward hit as he throw, gets it away, and it is caught. Jacoby George for the touchdown and he gives the home crowd the Heisman pose what a throw by Cam Ward as he was hit and what a catch by Jacoby George able to hold on to it and the Canes have a three-point lead with two and a half 
minutes left in the game. So a great drive. Came down to the last play. A clutch play from Cam Ward. Clutch throw as Whittington takes this to the 26. Great starting field position here for the Ducks as they have a chance to... They have plenty of time to take the lead or at least get a tying field goal and they get a great screen pass there as James takes it to the 43. Next play, James with the handoff, spins past the 50 and that'll take us to the two-minute warning. Second and inches, another handoff to Whittington, but that is going to lose a few. Third down and four, critical play here. Gabriel's intercepted and that will put the canes in business the ducks with only one timeout i couldn't tell who picked off the pass but what a clutch play and that is going to lead to our peer conceding shame because the game wasn't over by any means i wish he could have played this to the end because it was an epic game the canes defense getting it done a clutch turnover there and we do get the win because our opponent rage quit. But yeah, guys, what a thriller of a game. What a thriller at Hard Rock Stadium. The U versus the O. Let me know who your favorite team is in the comments below. I mean, there's like a lot of schools in this game. I love it. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. You got to leave a like for that game. That was an awesome game. But in the meantime, guys... That's going to do it for this video. My name is Ghost Pain. Bring the pain in your matches, and I will see you later.